hello guys welcome to my new android video in this video i will show you how you can schedule a local notification step by step right so you have this application and you want to schedule a local notification at a particular time right so let's say at 9 o'clock in the in, in the evening you want to show a notification to the user right from your app how would you do that so first of all you need to set a time right there should be someone who will keep track of your time and when the time is up it will tell your application that okay the time is up now do whatever you want to do right so for that there is something called alarm service which android provides us right we will get hold of that service and tell it okay at this particular time please do this thing for me right so let's see how we can do that so i'll grab the system service which is nothing but alarm service right and i'll call it alarm manager okay and this is alarm manager i'll type cast it awesome now i want to set an alarm right this is what it is set eject and the type would be rtc wake up so that even when your mobile is in off state or its screen is off it will wake it up and do the task what you have specified and it needs a time right so that's the part where we will tell okay at this particular time you have to do this so i'll use calendar object I'll call it calendar and in that calendar i will add few more seconds so that we can we will wait for few seconds and then the notification will appear on the notification area right so i'll use calendar uh, second and i will add 5 seconds to it now calendar dot get time in millis yeah uh, now it needs something called pending intent right so if you notice your alarm manager or alarm service is something totally different from your application right and you want that alarm manager to do your work right with the all exact permissions that you have in your application right so what android says is okay wrap your intent in a pending intent give some description to it and i will tell any other application to handle that intent like you would handle it right so let's create that pending intent get broadcast this it needs a request code let's say 100 uh it needs a intent row now this is the intent which will be thrown by the alarm manager when the time is up right okay it will take an action we'll come to that and update current so now what this flag will do is if the alarm manager service already has this particular intent it will update the extras of this particular intent right and this is what we have the broadcast now what should be over here right we want to specify an action which your application is already listening to so now i have created an broad, a broadcast receiver which is alarm receiver and i have specified this particular action when this particular action is triggered by your android application or android itself this is this alarm receiver will be triggered and its own receiver method own receive method will be called right so we'll use this particular action and pass it over here all right and then we say okay this is our broadcast that we want to do when the time is up all right so now what alarm manager service will do is it will check for this time when the time is up it will broadcast this particular pending intent which in turn will fire this intent 
which has this particular action and it android will check in your manifest file that if your manifest file has this particular intent or action yes it has which means it will trigger your alarm receiver which does the work of showing the notification which i'll cover later in the video first let's see how it looks let's run the app and see how it works right on running the app it's building installing apk yep we'll wait for five seconds and you will see a notification there it is right so you have this notification from your demo application which is awesome now what it has done is like i told earlier android will trigger this particular action intent and it will go to your alarm receivers on the receive method there you will build this notification with the help of notification compat builder and you will specify the message sticker icon of the notification and everything and and tell notification manager that please notify with this notification and that service will show this notification over here right you can see demo app notification and we have this title demo app notification then we have new new notification from demo app which is new notification from demo app right now this particular part will build the notification and show it right but what if we want to do when that something with when the notification is clicked right when you tap on the notification notification you want to open your app or a particular page in your app right Let's see how you can do that. Let's kill the app first. App is killed, right? I still have that notification on the top. Okay. Now what I have done is I have created a notification activity which has nothing but this particular text show notification details here, right? It is just an empty activity. What I'm doing is I'm creating an intent with that particular activity and putting that into a task stack builder and then getting a pending intent from that task stack builder and passing that to the notification that whenever this particular notification is tapped please use this pending intent and throw my actual intent in this right and that's how it will show the actual notification on your screen and when you tap on it it will open your application which in turn will open your notification activity and it will show the details whichever you want to show on that page right so it's very simple to schedule a local notification like we saw and it's very less lines of code you can go through the code in, on my github account which is available in the description below right and yeah if you like the video please do like comment and subscribe to my channel for upcoming android videos thank you